What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a stacked team that has choice spec Sylveon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, this is a stacked team right here. We got four Paradox Pokemon alongside with King Gambit, who is definitely top tier in the meta. And then Choice Spec Sylveon, like we mentioned. So this team should be bringing us a winning record in today's video. But... In the top left hand corner let's get started here with today's team preview we got the one and only iron bundle deli deli bird as i like to call him with court drive and the life orb as his item rocket freeze drive blizzard hydro pump and protect love this move set you can hit hard on a lot of different pokemon Fluttermane is going to be our second pokemon probably the best paradox pokemon in the game at the moment it's got protosynthesis and the cassie berry as its item moonblast shadow ball and then imprisoned trick room which i absolutely love definitely the best counter to trick room is to just have a pokemon with imprisoned trick room shut it down right away and keep your team rolling strong war moon is going to be our third pokemon love this pokemon's design but there are obviously counters to it such as fluttermane this one has protosynthesis alongside with the booster energy rock and breaking swipe throat chop tailwind for speed control and taunt to taunt opposing support pokemon great tusk is going to be our fourth pokemon and i love the great tusk so good all around and i always seem to play very well with this pokemon this one has close combat, headlong rush, ice spinner, and protect, rocking the focus sash as its item. Bottom left hand corner is the reason I picked this team is choice spec Sylveon. Cannot wait to get this Pokemon out on the field and do some crazy damage with it. It's got Pixelate as its ability, fire terror type, and then has hyper voice, hyper beam, terror blast, and psychic. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be King Gambit. Like I said, King Gambit is one of those Pokemon that are not Paradox, but is still very, very strong on the rank ladder. This one has Supreme Overlord as its ability, the Assault Vest as item to make him a bit more bulkier on the special defense side. Then it has Iron Head, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, Cal Talc Leave, and Metal Burst for its move set. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, another code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Choice Spec Sylveon Series 2 team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Sandy Shocks team with Corviknight. Rotom Mo, the grass type one, and then he has Deli Deli Bird, Cerulege, and Grimmsnarl. So we're going to have to watch out for big time Sandy Shocks, big time special attacker. He can do some crazy damage and T off on me. So I definitely got to watch out for that Pokemon. But how should I go into this one? How should I lead it? They have no trick users and their only Tailwind user is going to be Corvo. So hmm, what do I do up against Corvo? I mean, Fire Terror Blast, not bad. Not bad. I'm kind of leaning towards it. I definitely am kind of leaning towards it, but I'm going to go Choice Spec Sylveon to get us started here. Fire Terror could also do really good onto uh, Sandy Shock as well, so I do like that. So I'm going to go uh, Sylveon right off the rip here, and then I am going to also lead, I lead Flutz. I don't think I lead Flutz, but I think I bring Fluttermane. I think I'm going to lead Deli Bird. Deli Bird is very fast. can hit like a truck with the, uh, with the Life Orb, so I do like that. Or I can lead... Warring Moon. Go get the Moon out there. As a nice little lead. Maybe set up Tailwind if they're going to set up Tailwind. I don't mind that. I kind of really like that. I mean, if they bring Deli Bird, then I could Terrasalize and kind of go after that. But I would rather Terrasalize the Sylveon. You know, we're going to stick with our guts. We're going to go Deli Deli Bird. Bring Flutter Main and War Moon as her back end Pokemon, right? Makes the most sense. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I kind of wish I brought uh, King Gamma because King Gamma is pretty strong all around, especially with the Sucker Punches on this rule edge. But I think we should be fine here. I think we should be fine here in match number one. And we should be able to grab ourselves a nice, lovely win. But I'm hoping they lead Sandy Shocks for Corviknight and I could just rip on it with Fire, Terra Blast, Choice, Spec, Sylveon. Could be really good for us, but we'll see who they want to end up leading. And it's going to be, there's the Corvo. So Corvo's going to come out here. Um, I believe that a, a Tailwind and maybe like a Light Green is going to come out here definitely an option i mean i could just rip with hyper voices i could do that i could do this and then maybe just start chipping up with freeze dry but the only problem here is going to be corviknight just ripping into me right corviknight could be a problem so i feel like we have to get rid of corviknight i don't want to setting up defense bulks all that good stuff so i'm just gonna terrasalize and i am just going to straight up terror blast exactly what i'm gonna do straight up terror blast in that and then do I double down into that or do I chip up some damage on the onto you? I think I'm gonna just chip up some damage onto Grimstar here. Even though it might set up a nice lovely light screen. I'm gonna throw slice here. And like I said, just try to get rid of this uh Just try to get rid of this Corbinite. I mean if Light Screen comes out, it probably soaks really well, but 
other than that, I think we should be fine. Light screen, Groom Sumo. You guys know I love screens. Screens are just so good. They really are. But there's the light screen. Kind of sucks, but we chilling. Free tries can poke out here. Chip up a little bit of damage onto Grimmy. Not bad damage. But again, that that uh, that screen definitely helping him out tremendously. And out comes our Terror Blast. We're kind of hoping he's going for a steel move into my Sylveon Slot as well. But Terror Blast flying, chipping up some nice damage. Almost half through the screen. And this thing's going to bulk up. He's going to bulk up potentially Terrasalize here as well. I might double down into him. I might double down while we can. I'm going to just exactly what I'm going to do. I don't think this thing protects at all. I think we double down and we try to get rid of it. Because it might even Terrasalize here. Knowing that I'm just shooting fire shots at him. Could do that. Could do that. But I'm, I don't think it protects at all. I'm just going to double down and rip into it. It is going to end up Terrasalize. So we can Terrasalize the bird into what typing exactly? I don't really see Corviknight Terrasalize a lot, so... Ground, which isn't bad. I mean, fire can do neutral damage on that, and then ice could be super effective. I could deal with that. I can deal with that. As long as we just get rid of this thing. This thing's got a party shot on me. Not my bird. Not my deli deli bird. Might be a good time to swap my deli bird now. Screens are so annoying, man. Can't deal with the screens. I mean, they didn't set up tail on, which is good. Bulk up's out and about. We're doubling down into this slot. Light screen's still here. And they're going to pull a nice little swap into Rotom Mo. I mean, isn't bad. I can shoot a fire shot in that slot next turn. And we're hoping that my that my uh, move can actually KO here. Which it should be able to. Oh, no. You're roosting? You are roosting? You roost it? I thought I outsped that Pokemon last turn. I thought I did outspeed that Pokemon last turn. I mean, that's fine. I can keep roosting. Uh, do I go for a Blizzard here? I'm going to try to land a Blizzard. Because I think Blizzard can KO onto... Uh, I think Blizzard. Oh, I can go for Hydro Pump. What has a higher chance of landing? Hydro Pump. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump trade in this slot. We landed. That should KO no problem, right? Deli Bird, take him out. Big time place. Deli Bird minus one, and they have Light Screen up. Hydro Pump just ripping into that. Loving it. Loving it. I totally forgot I had Hydro Pump. I was ripping freeze tries. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day because this choice spec move is gonna slide over. He's gonna go for a Bolt Switch. Can we soak? We do not, but that's totally fine. He's going to be forced to bring probably Bad Hat Grimstrong to soak up this uh, fire shot. And I might want to swap my... I might want to swap my Sylveon. Just to reset the choice spec. Could be good. But I think Grimstrong does come back out here to soak up the shot. No, it's going to be Sandy Shock. So that's fine. Is it steel? It's not steel. Why not? I always think this Pokemon's steel. Just because it looks steel. He's going to Protosynthesis. Get a special attack boost up. It is electric and ground. And from here... I could go into Tusk. I mean, Tusk isn't too bad. I know it has ground moves, but Tusk can... Oh, no, I don't have Tusk. I have you. You're going to be faster. Put those Shadow Balls in that. Uh, I do have you as well. Cannot Terrasalize. Uh, you should be faster than Sandy Shocks, right? No, you're not. You are slow. Why are you so slow? You are very slow. You should be faster than Sandy Shocks. You know, we're going to go into War Moon. Wow, that is the slowest Flutter Mane I think I've ever used. The Flutter Mane's so slow for no reason. For no reason. But Grimmy Snarl comes back out here. I might want to hard swap here. I might want to I might want to hard swap. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. My speed's heightened, which is lovely. And dude, I would love the hard. I might I might have the hard swap. How many terabytes? We have seven left. Would hard swap and into you be the play though? That's the real question. Would hard swap it into you beat the play? I mean, I think you just set up a reflect here. What do we stay and just chuck up some damage? I kind of like the hard swap. Uh, do I like that? No, actually, I don't really like the hard swap. Let's just keep let's just keep uh, shooting shots. We'll go after Sandy Shocks with this one, and I might just double down on them. Go for a break and swipe. I'm going to double down on Sandy Shocks. I don't think it protects. Just sets up a reflect. So we're going to double down on Sandy Shock. Just try to get rid of it. Grim Snarl is just mainly here for support. Throw Chop's going to fly here. Chip up some nice damage. And can the Terra Blast pick up the KO? You might die from that. You were able to soak. I love you. Can you KO here? Can you just do me a favor, KO? Just finish this thing off. Nice, nice. So we finished that off. That's big time. Big, 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 big time. Again, Grim Snarl I'm not worried about. So I'm just going to target down this Rotom move slot. And just keep dominating from there. But yo, choice spec Sylvia. Getting some work done so far. Loving this Pokemon. The Mo comes back out. Attack it. We're gonna use that and. Hmm. 
I mean, speed's not an option for us. Speed's not a problem, I should say. I'm just going to, again, double down into the Rotop Moose Slot. Yeah, double down into it. He's not protecting. Just got to keep chipping off damage. This thing's rather bulky, especially with the screens. Bolt Switch comes out here, and you die out. So you're going to die out to that. He's going to bring out probably a Spirit Break, and you might die to a Spirit Break. Can you eat up a Spirit Break, please? I kind of need you to. Ouch. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That hurts. That definitely hurts. Um, I'm pretty bulky here. I think I'm more bulky on the defensive side. I have, I have a nice HP EV. So let me check them out one more time. But wow. That just turned the tides there. Yeah, we're very defensive bulky. Very defensive bulky. I mean, actually not very. We're more special defense bulked. Our HP is high. Special, special attack is decent. I mean, Moonblast should be able to KO, but... I'm still going to go for this. I'm still going to go for the KO onto this thing. He's going to party shot on me. Oh, that hurts. So he's just party shot on me. His screens, he has all that good stuff out. He's going to be able to party shot again. And this thing might just be ripping into me with full switches. Moonblast, we need a KO here. We don't get it. We do not get it. Not even close. Uh, Yeah, got to send it again. He's just going to party shot into me again. And there's a party shot. We can soak up another Volt Switch. I'm trying to think of ways we can actually win this match. Because we might be able to soak up two more Volt Switches, right? We can soak up this one. We should be able to soak up one more. So I KO you here. Do I switch to Shadow Ball in order to try to get a special defense drop? Or do we keep ripping with the Moon Blast? I think we need this Shadow Ball. I think we need a special defense drop. We're going to go for it. You outspeed me because you are so slow, Fluttermane, for no reason. And yeah, we pretty much lose this match. That hurts, man. That hurts. And yeah, we weren't, we weren't winning this anyway. Light screen does wear off. It's game set match. We'll go for the Moonblast. Maybe he misses, but it's GG's. It is GG's. Slow Fluttermane doing me dirty, but all around that last turn, really, really turned the tides. He hit me with the Spear Break, picked up the KO, the Volt Switch KO'd my Sylveon, and turned into a 2v1 no problem. Second match coming at you guys, going up against a hard Trick Room team. I wish we would have won that first match, but our opponent made one good play at the end to change the tides and ended up grabbing them themselves the victory. But again, hard Trick Room team, we're going up against Indeedee, Armourouge, Torkoal, King Gambit, Annihilate, and Hatterene. I gotta leave my Imprisoned Trick Room Pokemon, gotta counter that up right away. And then on top of that, probably a Dark type Pokemon could work very, very well here, such as King Gambit, or even War Moon. Who would I rather lead here? Who would I rather lead? Probably King Gambit, right? The steel type's a little bit better. I mean, what's called could come, come in here, Annihilate, which could be a problem, but I mean, I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. So I'm going to go Gambit. I am going to go Fluttermane. And then on top of that, I am going to bring the Great Tusk here. Great Tusk can definitely get some work done with his uh, ground moves. Does not have EQ, which kind of sucks, but still, Headlong Rush can definitely get some work done. And then last but not least, do I go Delibird? I mean, if they bring out the Sun, that's tough, right? If they bring out the Sun, that's tough. I could go you or I could go Sylveon. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like Sylveon here. I kind of do. But the problem is going to be the, the Gambit. Like, we know he's probably bringing the Gambit. Gambit is a problem. So, I think I'm, I'm just going to go Delibird. Bring my Life Orb Pokemon. You can't really go wrong with it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. They're definitely going to go for Trick Room. I don't... I do not think they know we have Imprisoned on this Pokemon. So, this could be a really big turn for us. Just Imprison Trick Room. Waste it out. And then just start ripping shots, right? Left and right. Left and right. But I think this is the same exact team I used in a video, which is pretty cool. I think it is. It could be a little bit different. Annihilate, but Hatterene do get the lead. So he's looking to just kind of Gambit here. And I mean, I don't have Protect. I mean, Gambit pretty much just guarantees the KO here. And this is just an easy prison. And then for you, can we swap in anybody? No. I mean, we just let him die out, correct? I could go for a Sucker Punch. I mean, will Sucker Punch come out before that? Before Gambit, because that could be good for us. Because Gambit considering an attacking move, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but we're, we're going to go for it. Because if, if you're Gambiting, you're just going to take me out anyway. Because you can't Gambit into my other Pokemon. But Sucker Punch does come out here first. Hopefully you're going for the Gambit now. And then you go for a close combat. So that was a smart play. And that's just going to dump on me. So you get rid of me. Trick Room is probably coming out here. And I'm just going to imprison it. The defense is dropped. We're going to imprison up the, on the Scissor Trick Room. And if I had to guess, I think it's choice, choice Scarfed anyway. Yeah, and it did go for Trick Rooms. So that's big time for us. 
So it did end up going for a trick room. Uh, we do have Moon Blast to just finish off that, but I'd rather send a Shadow Ball and a Hatterene and get off some damage. So I might go into you and tear it in a fire. Or I can just go straight into you and just start ripping. Hmm. He's Choice Scarf. That is the problem. Which means he outspeeds me. So I might just protect and get rid of that. I might just protect and get rid of that. I'm just going to protect the Nelly Burn. I think that's got to be my play. And then just Moon Blast and finish this thing off. Because I don't see him Thrasilizing. I don't really see him Hard Swapping either. I think he just goes for the close combat. So if I just protect the Deli Deli Bird, that should be fine. I mean, what's Hatterene really going to do, right? Maybe Mystical Fire, get a special attack drop, but I'll just Shadow Ball it next turn. So I end up protecting the Deli Bird. Good thing he's saying here. He's Choice in the Close Combat. We already know that. So he's going for another Close Combat here. And then my Fluttermane is just going to finish this Pokemon off. And what kind of, Oh, does Hatterene have Shadow Ball? That could be bad. That could be bad. Are you rocking Shadow Ball? A lot of them don't. Might just be rocking Psychic Move. Might be going for Psychic or something. Mystical Fire. Okay, so yeah, I said that option. He's going to get the drop. So I could double down to Hatterene right now. Uh, Trick Room is still in prison, which is really, really good for us. And Shadow Ball still might be able to KO that. Do I go for a Blizzard? Indeed, he does come out here. That kind of sucks because I can't go for this anymore. I can't go for the Moon Blast anymore. I cannot go for the Moon Blast anymore. Or not the Moon Blast. I can't go for the Shadow Ball anymore. Because it's a problem. It's a problem. How many turns are left in in prison? Or is it just in prison, right? Oh, yeah. We just in prison it the whole time. Which is really good for us. So as much as I want to go for a Shadow Ball, just rip into it. I think a Follow Me might potentially come out here. So I'm going to do that. And I might I might rip into a Blizzard. I could go Freeze Dry, play it safe. I could tear it in the ice and go for the Blizzard. Ooh. That does sound good, but I think I had to save my Terra for my boy. My back-end Pokemon. I'm going to try to land this Hydro Pump. I'm going to try to land a Hydro Pump. Helping Hand comes out here. Wow, so we could have just... We could have just Shadow Ball, but I did think Follow Me was coming out here. Hydro Pump does land, which is big time. Should chuck up some nice damage, and then Moon Blast will be able to pick up the KO. Right? We sent it that way, correct? I believe we did. That's a big-time turn from us. That's a big-time turn from us. So they have one more Pokemon left. It could be Armor Rouge, which could be atrocious for us. Which could honestly suck for us. And they still have Terra. It's going to be Torx. The Torx is coming out here. That's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> we don't like that. We don't like that. I mean, I have my Headlong Rush Pokemon in the back end. And I have Fire Tower, which we have to save. That might be our best bet. Uh, from here, we just have to Moon Blast. You could help me hand the shot, but I'm just going to Moon Blast that. I'm, I guess I just go for a Hydro Pump. Battle was canceled. Okay, we'll take that. Actually, our opponent had a shot there, but we, we'll take that victory right there. Played really well, imprisoned Trick Room, and just countered it. So, guys, our opponent canceled that battle, the last one, and I don't know why. They had, they definitely had a shot at winning that match, right? If they just followed me, both my uh, single hitting moves, into Indeedee, and then harass lies, pop an eruption... That could potentially KO both my Pokemon and turn it into a 1v1. But I did have great touch in the back end, and I think I had that match on lock anyway. But still, our opponent definitely canceled a little too early there, and it gave us a free victory. But we take it all day. We played really well there. And we're hopping into our third and final match, going up against a pretty strong team. Deli Deli Bird, Fluttermane, Sapelai, Cerulege, and then Dragonite and Amoongus. I definitely want the King Gambo. Sucker Punch could definitely work wonders. I could also bring in uh, War Moon, which I like. So I might lead the Moon. I might lead the Moon. Moon, come on down. I could also lead Sylveon. I like Sylveon here. I do like Sylveon. I'm going to lead the Sylveon. Sylveon can rip. Sylveon can rip. So I'm going to go Sylveon here. I am going to end up leading the Moon because I can set up Tailwind with that. Get some speed control. Really like that. And then I am going to bring in Deli Deli Bird. And then last but not, but not least, do I go Gambo or Tusk? Gambo or Tusk? I mean, Tusk isn't too bad. You got the Ice Spinner. You got the Headlong Rush. You have the Fire Terror. And what's your other move? You have one more. Close Combat, I believe, right? Rip him with close combat. R, you are indeed. I kind of like you because you kind of serve as another Pokemon to take out Amoongus. I'm with it all day. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves another victory here. Go back to back. Grab ourselves a winning record. Hopefully, hopefully we can grab it because we should kind of already have it. First battle. Still a little upset that we lost that one, but take it right on the chin. T take it right on the chin. But we'll see who they want to end up leading. I think Sableye is going to come out here for lead. This little support Pokemon. Really cool team here. They also have Cerule Edge. And there's the two. So Cerule Edge, Sableye do come out here. We do have lovely little Sylveon. Lovely little Sylveon. That they might just fake me out. 
might do a little fake out action, but I'm sending hyper voices right down the lane. I'm sending hyper voices right down the lane. And I'm gonna try to set up Talon, right? Yeah, I'm gonna set up Talon this turn. And it might even protect. I might go for fake outs, it might do all this all this mumbo jumbo stuff, but he's just gonna end up thrasilizing. Probably Surreal Edge into maybe straight grass here. Is it a grass Surreal Edge? The grass one. It's a little scarier. Definitely a little scarier, but still, we should be able to get off some damage onto... Actually, he's gonna fake me out. He's gonna fake out one of my Pokemon. Yeah, he set up a Reflect. A little weird, but... I can deal with that. It's pretty cool. So, Tamon comes out here. Uh, we should be able to do a nice chunk of damage to the Sableye. Probably Sash, so we'll bring it down to Focus Sash, but... Let's see what we do. No Sash! Okay, so we just get rid of that. Our special attacking stays afloat, considering he only got off Reflect. And this Terra Blast, if you have Terra Blast, is looking a little scary. Then you're gonna bulk up. Alright. Okay, I can deal with a bulk up. I can deal with a bulk up. Leftovers bulk up action. Uh, I can start dropping your attack. I mean, Headlong Rush should just be able to rip into that. No problem, right? I mean, I could swap. I could swap into that Pokemon right here, right now. Depending on who you go into. Mmm, I don't like that. I do not like that. Not one bit. Not one bit. Yeah, we are just going to go for another Hyper Voice, and I think I'm just going to Thrasilize you. Throw a Throat Chop this way. I think we'll deal with this Rule Edge a bit later. But I think for now, we just deal with this right side and keep ripping into it until we get out of Great Tusk to finish off this Rule Edge. I think that's got to I think that's got to be our play, right? We also have Delibird in the back end. I mean, De Delibird can solo a lot, but a bulk up Pokemon? Looking a little scary, right? Bulk up stuff is here. Throw Chop's gonna fly here. Chip up some nice damage. Can Hyper Voice finish this off? Do not finish you off. That that one hurts a little bit. Moonblast's gonna fly here. We're terror. We're able to soak really well. And are you going do you do you have terror blast? That's the real question. It's a real edge. And you're going for straight for a bitter blade. You soak, you do soak. Alright, so again, I'm not too worried about the Surreal Edge. I really am not. I really am not too worried about that. Again, headlong rush comes out here. We pick up the KO, no problem. We have speed all day. F speed all day. So I'm going to hyper voice again, considering I'm choice into that. And I might just break and swipe. I could break and swipe. I could taunt. Just so no more bulk ups come out here. I'm just going to break and swipe. I don't think I don't think he uh, goes into... I don't think he goes to a bulk up this turn. So we're going to break and swipe just to drop attack back down to normal. And then I might just taunt him next turn in case he wants to go for another bulk up. <coughs> Viper voice flies. We get rid of the flutter main. Yo, choice spec still going to get some work done today. Getting some work done today. And this thing just goes, oh, it does go for another bulk up. How dare you? Leave me alone. Knock that off. Knock that off. I got, I think I just taunt it right here. I gotta help knock it off with the bulk ups, right? It's gotta stop that. It's gotta stop that. I'm gonna taunt it right here, right now. I don't want to bulk it up so much that I can just soak up my headlong rush. Right, that could be bad. That could be real bad. So we'll see who they want to go into. It's gonna be Deli Delis. We still have speed, which is actually do we have speed? Quirk Drive's coming out of here. That's scary. Quirk Drive coming out of here. So you might even protect. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop another hyper voice. And I'm gonna go into taunt, dude. I cannot have this thing keep setting up bulk ups. It's not allowed. It is not allowed. He does end up going for the protect, so. That's not too bad. And can we just taunt this thing? Yeah, come here. You're, you're done with the bulk ups. We're, we're tired of it. I'm over it. Just knock it off. I'm so sick of it. So sick of it. We are going to chip up a little bit more damage onto this thing. And we'll go from there. I mean, Sylveon's still doing a little chunk there. He goes for a bitter blade. He's going to finish off by Sylveon. That is fine. That is fine. Uh, I think Tailwind's gone, which kind of sucks. Kind of definitely sucks. Uh, do I, do I bring out... Do I bring out the, the Tusk just yet? That's the real question. Do I bring out the Tusk just yet? I think we bring out Delibird and we save the Tusk. Because if I get rid of this this third Delibird right now, it could be solid for us. So I'm going to double down into Delibird slot. Freeze try coming at you. They still reflect out, which sucks, but I'm going to pop a nice little throw chop. Hmm. Let's get after it. Their Freeze try comes out first into my Delibird. That's fine. You should be able to soak. Cool. Throw chop coming out here. And now my Freeze try comes out here. 
And we KO. Okay, yeah, this match is on lock. This match is on lock. Lock down. It's all over. It's all over. Go ahead. KO one of my Pokemon. I dare you. It's going to be the biggest mistake of your life. It's the biggest mistake you just made. Because now I bring out the big bulky elephant. Who's just going to send you to oblivion. I don't care that you're plus two on defense. It's over. You are done for. You are done for, kind sir. <laughs> I know it has shadow sneak, so I do have to watch out. But you you are done. You're done. You're done for. Big boy coming out of here. You mess with the Don friend, you get the tusk, all right? You mess with the Don fan, you get the tusk. It's all over. Bringing out your biggest enemy here. Headlong rush coming in. What? Close combat. What this more? It's the exact same. It's the exact same, but headlong rush looks so much cooler. So I'm gonna rip into this thing with a headlong rush. Headlong rush coming out here, and I guess we could just throw a chop on top of that. Might as well. Run it up. Oh, I forgot they have reflect. Hold up. Might be a problem here. It's a problem. We might lose this. They have reflect. They're able to soak, dude. They have Reflect, which is terrifying. He gets back some HP, but can we KO after this? Oh, no. And Reflect end? How many turns is in Reflect? We gotta check this out. Oh, my lord. How many turns is in Reflect left? No more taunts out on the field. How many turns you got Reflect for? Two? I totally forgot about the Reflect. I guess I gotta go into this. Maybe get a crit or something. Third chop coming in hot here. Doing like no damage. Give me a crit. Do something. Soul hurting. My soul hurting. I mean, Reflect's going after this. Give me a chance here. I mean, Bitter Blade's gonna come out here. It's gonna pick up the KO. I mean, you're not gonna get back crazy HP. If one more turn to Reflect. Oh my lord, no! I forgot about Reflect. And I was hyping my Don fan up. I forgot about that Reflect. I mean, they do have leftovers. Um, hmm. Any shot we win this battle? And again, we need Reflect on. Maybe I should have protected it and then just, like, hit that thing up. But he's just going to end up protecting it. Okay, that's fine. And waste out his last turn to Reflect. Okay. We still have a shot here. We still have a shot. We still have a shot. I think it's plus two on defense, right? And plus one on attack. Ooh. Reflect is gone. Reflect is gone. Just big time. The defense bulk is insane right now. Third chop coming in hot here. One more will not KO. We need a crit. Bitter Blade's flying here. Did we die to that? I hyped it up so much. And we lost. And we lost. Dude, I forgot about that Reflect. That's rough. That is rough. But one and two for today's video. Grab ourselves a losing record. Haven't done that in a while, but still, I think all around, the battles were this close and could have went either way. One and two for today's video. Not too bad, but I wish we would have grabbed ourselves a winning record. I felt like I played really good with this team. All the battles came down to the wire, but at least we got to showcase the choice spec Sylveon doing some crazy damage and ripping up opponents in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.